Good morning. Merry Christmas to you all. I'm John Rogers, resident priest for the next three weeks. Judy and I are delighted to be back with you at St. Bartholomew's as we celebrate our Lord's birth. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Saying together, let us pray the call for purity. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desire is known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, this holy night is radiant with the brilliance of your true light. And we have known the revelation of the light on earth. Bring us to see the splendor of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The first reading is taken from the letter of Paul to the Hebrews. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he just sustains all things by his powerful word. When he has made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. Also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to Christ us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him, him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or the will of the flesh, or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Christ out of it. 